Okay, today I'll be talking about um, various upgrade options you can uh, have for your um, Dell Optiplex 360 base computer. It could also be applied to a Dell Optiplex 380 as well because the layout of the motherboard is the same basically. But let me see how many uh, Dell Optiplex. Let me see the layout of the 380. Let's see if it's exactly the same or not. Okay, that's a 380. And this also has three SATA ports, just like the 360. Okay, I just wanted to check that out. So it's basically the same, except the uh, 380 uh, uses DDR3s, while a 360 uses DDR2s. So that's the only difference. The RAM and the CPU port, they're different as well. So just to let you know so it's not the same so we'll be talking about just the 360 and how you can upgrade it so the first thing you could upgrade is the RAM you could put up to four gigabytes of RAM in this computer and this is a Corsair XMS2 that's the one that I use for my my uh, Dell Optiplex 360 MT motherboard so MT means mid tower like this they also have a small form factor which is different um, but today we'll be talking about the MT or mid tower so you could upgrade the RAM I'll leave this in the video descriptions this is a it's just a Corsair XMS2 DDR2 I think it's 800 megahertz frequency and you could add a graphics card as well, a GeForce GTS 710 2GB PCI Express X60 video card in this slot right here. I have uh, videos about the 360 and how you could upgrade the various components for it, like the CPU, the RAM, the video card, and power supply and stuff like that. So this only comes with three SATA ports so you could put you could get a PCI SATA RAID controller which will go into a PCI slot right there and this will give you four more SATA ports but this only the speed of this is 1.5 gigabits per second so that's uh, not very fast That's roughly 187.5 megabytes per second. So I guess it will be good enough for hard drives. But the thing is, um, you're not going to be able to boot from this card right here. Um, so if you want to boot, if you want to put your operating system, it's going to have to be one of these three SATA slots. So, and this is faster. I think this is a SATA 3. This is while this is SATA 1.5, so that's going to be the difference. This is going to be slower. And this video card is is quite an improvement over the onboard video card, so that's for that. Let's go to the next slide. So um, now we'll be talking about the various storage devices you can add in this thing. Um, you could add you have to get this um, adapter this is a 5.25 inch to 3.5 inch and two 2.5 inch adapter so you can put one three and a half inch hard drive like this and two two and a half inch SSDs or hard drives so you could put two SSDs in here and one 3.5 inch hard drive and you could have two of these 
on the chassis. So let me go back here. So it has two um, slots, five and a quarter inch slots. You could remove the optical drive and put uh, two of the bays in here. And I have a video which shows you how to do that, which shows you how to remove this part. And this will enable you to put in, let me see, um, you're limited by the SATA ports in your computer. So with this card, you'll have four additional SATA ports, which will give you seven SATA ports. So you'd be able to add seven hard drives and SSDs, basically. So the one, the hard drive or SSD you want to boot from, we'll have to use, like I said, one of these slots, one of these three slots on the motherboard itself. So uh, basically you can add four um, three and a half inch hard drives, one here, one here, and one here and one here. So four all together. So you could put it in this um, hard drive caddy. 3.5 inch you can put another one in here and two in there so you can have four three and a half inch three terabyte hard drives and you can have three um, 2.5 inch 500 gigabyte ssds as well so you could put two in there two of these in there and one in there which would give you a total of 1.5 terabytes of SSD hard drive space and 12 terabytes of hard drive space so that's roughly about 13.5 um, terabytes of space and you could turn this thing into basically into a server and you could also up Upgrade the CPU as well. You could put in a Core 2 Quad Q6600 socket 775 CPU. This is the fastest CPU that you can get for this motherboard. You won't be able to play the latest games on it, but uh, it's definitely an improvement. You could probably watch movies with it and stream movies with it at 1080p with a GeForce GTS 710 2GB PCI Express 16 card with the CPU, of course. So that's the kind of upgrade you can make for the storage capacity and the CPU for this computer. Let's get to the next slide. Okay, so the next thing you could do is you could upgrade the cooling system for this computer. This computer has a front fan which sucks air in, but it doesn't have an exhaust fan in the back. So you can add an 80 millimeter chassis fan in the back, and I have a video on that as well. And you could also add a PCI exhaust fan. probably right there and you would need an adapter for this because uh, 80 millimeters fans come with uh, four pin uh, power adapter power uh, connectors so you would have to connect that to this and this connects to the power supply basically And you may have to upgrade the power supply if you get all those hard drives. Because uh, the standard power supply is only 235 watts. So you could get a 500 watt EVGA ATX power supply. And it's pretty easy to upgrade. I have a video on how you can do that. I'll put all the links uh, in the video below in the video description so um, 
for this PCI exhaust fan, it will come with a Molox power connector. And you can connect that to this. And you can connect this to the SATA port. And this will enable you to uh, power the PCI exhaust fan, basically. And after you do all the upgrades, um, you will have a Intel Core 2 Quad Q6600. I think it's a 2.4 gigabyte seat. 2.9. I don't. I let me see how much that is. Okay, it's a 2.4 gigahertz CPU, and it comes with a and a GeForce GTS 710 2 gigabyte GPU graphics card storage. You could have up to four three terabyte hard drives, three 500 gigabyte SSDs. I would recommend that you install the operating system on one of the 500 gigabyte SSDs and connect that SATA port to the motherboard so it could boot from it. And you can add two five and a quarter inch to 3.5 inch and two 2.5 inch uh, bay adapters here and here and you can add a additional you can replace this power supply which is a 235 watt ATX power supply with a 500 watt power supply to power all your all the devices that you added to your computer and you can add an 80 millimeter rear fan here and a PCI exhaust fan right here in the and um, it would stay pretty cool so these are the upgrades you can make for it if you want to and you could use a, a distro of Linux that's what I did I turned um, mine into a Linux server or you could use um, Windows 7 if you have it on there you could use that as well but make sure it's not connected to the internet if you're using an outdated operating system you could just use it as a server for your home or something so anyways thanks for watching by ace 1000 ks 1975